show is seasoned with gallic spice in the person of the star of such movies as Battleground and Westwood the Women. Say bienvenue to Denise Starcel. Sharing the spotlight with Miss Starcel at this time is her son, actor Craig Darcel. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Denise Starcel. Hi. Just closed in a show called Follies in, yes. in uh, uh, Long Beach. Yeah, Civic Life Theater. Ah, who was in the show with you? Great show. Oh, Juliette Prowse. Right. Karen Moreau, great voice. Uh -huh. Shawnee Wallace, great voice. Uh -huh. Ima Sumac, Ooh. great voice. Range. Uh, Dorothy Lamour, oui. adorable. Uh -huh. Eve, um, Ed Ibanko, Harvey Evans, uh, God, I, you uh -huh. know, great. I don't want to forget anybody because they're all did, great. Did you enjoy doing that show? Did you? Did I enjoy it? Uh -huh. Oh, la la. <laughs> I sang a crazy French song and uh, a comedy, and I, I have the sit-up blood, did a little can-can uh -huh, uh -huh. and everything. Denise Dursell. Yes, sir. Came to Hollywood, got in contract with MGM Studios. Mm -hmm. Some man found you. Some an American agent found you in uh, yes, I Paris. Yes, I was working alone, in my, going to my dime store. I'm a dime store baby. Uh -huh. And uh, Jeep was all the agent of uh, Bob Hope, Jerry Colonna. They were. Uh, and they stopped me and they said, you want to go to Hollywood? Uh -huh. And I said, certainly not. Every American boy say that. I was very young. <laughs> I'm getting younger as the year goes by. Uh -huh. I'd be a baby next, you know. Oui. But anyway, they came back in the store. And I was uh -huh. become Miss Photograph, Miss Paris, Miss this. It was fantastic. Miss Football, mascot, American football, uh -huh. with a big shoulder. I thought they were real until I sat on it. <laughs> and that was so exciting, you know. And I, I came to America for a movie. Which one was it? First. To the victor. The victor. With Dennis Morgan, Dennis, Jacques Carson, uh -huh. Vivi Callenford, great actress, and uh, Victor Francen. Uh -huh. It was a, a black market movie. And I sang. La Dean Rose? Oh, and wonderful. we have millions of records. So you actually introduced that on film then? Did yes, you? because they, they, they had to choose between me and Piaf. Oui. To me, she's the best. But somehow they wanted a more. Good, I'm very modern. The more sexy voice, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. more, little, little, but they choose me instead of her, and I look a little bit better. I'm very mm -hmm. modest, you know. Mm -hmm. She's a wonderful blonde, whatever. But it was a great, a great song. Denise Dursel. Yes, sir. Grew up in Paris or outside of Paris? I was born in, a, in Paris, uh -huh. but I was raised every six months in a small village, and I went back every winter. I went to Paris. Six uh -huh. months here, six months a peasant, uh -huh. six months a Parisian, uh -huh. healthy. What made Denise Dursel get in show business? All my life. You were a performer all your life? All my Singing? life. No, no. Or, oh, well, I sing for the little, in school. In Paris. I sang in a little fiesta. I was very young. Yes. You know? yes. I, I, I was a clown. I, I had to perform, make people cry, make people laugh all my life. Uh -huh. And I knew uh -huh. that I was going to be a movie star. I used to pose. You and Corinne Calvet. Yeah, well, we all sang. We're, we're she's opposite. Friend. She's we're from opposite. Yeah. Yes. Well, she's very beautiful, very quiet, very. Serene and I'm more far, you know, I'm uh -huh. more full of pep, let's say. I give her a little pep once in a while, you know. She's so, very lovely. She's here. You did a movie with Van Johnson called Battleground. Yeah, that was fantastic. Great movie. You that were wonderful fun. in that film. I had this wonderful part in speaking a word of English, and I had a, I was a little That peasant. was an MGM movie. Yeah. It would make me famous. What? Really famous. The director, William Wellman, oui. said to me, I want a real French movie. I don't want any phony, no makeup. I want a real peasant. Uh -huh. So he said, cut a piece of bread there. I said, Mr. Wellman, excuse me. He was kind of rough, but he was wonderful. Oui. Where is that Frenchie? <laughs> Mr. Wellman, you know, in France, we don't cut the bread like this. How do you cut the bread in France? I said, well, we put it like this against our whatever. Uh -huh. And we go, Psh, we cut the bread. <laughs> oui. He said, stop. I almost cut myself, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. And then, that was my 
make me famous, so cutting a piece of bread with a huge knife on a big screen. The knife was uh -huh. one story up, my, excuse the expression, my boss was nice size 40, uh -huh. maybe fat in a big screen, and a huge piece of bread, and when I cut this, they scream and holler for half an hour. That made me famous. And oh, some of the hot actress. men, some of the hot men that Denise Darcel went out with at that time, when you start becoming a hot lady in, in Hollywood, I some do, of the men? I do not know why I will not go out with movie actors. Really? And I'm crazy about movie actors. Uh -huh. I work with Bert Lancaster, when well, he was married. Glenn Ford, he was married. <laughs> uh, Gary Cooper was divine, you know, he was married. Oui. Uh, uh, Errol Flynn, uh, too much, crazy. Uh, Tyron Power, gorgeous. Married. You went out with all these wonderful married well, men? Well, I was out, but I didn't do anything. I'm not yes, uh, wait, Mami, wait. I'm a Mami Van Doren. I'm not Mami Van Doren. Uh -huh. I don't kiss and tear, but I don't kiss anyway. And I didn't wait. do it, so I can't say. But I had always wonderful looking men, but not in the show business. But was that under contract because of MGM put you to tell you what date you should go out with, or not did really. you pick? Not really? No, you were under contract with MGM? Yes, not, not really. Uh, I had Hugh O'Brien take me to the premiere. Oui. You know, I had uh, uh, Jean Erickson. Uh, I, can't, I mean, a lot of the lovely star, Rock Hudson, was divine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was so handsome. I told him, you're going to be a star. He said, no, they always put me in those spots. You know, like you know good-looking, mm -hmm. I said, you're going to be a star. He was a big a star. He was great. Rock Hudson. I used to adore How him. How did you know? How he did took, you know? He was in time. GM. And Rock Hudson was at MGM? Yes, I, I thought lunch it was at Universal. I no, he, he was at MGM for a while. Yes. Uh -huh. And I used to have lunch with him, and I used to tell him, you've got to be a big star. Uh -huh. And every time I said that, I'm so modest, every time I said that, I got, I actually became a star. Clint Eastwood, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said, you've got to be a big star, you're gorgeous. Uh -huh. Charles Bronson, he was a cowboy in my movie, you know. Oui. His name was Charles which, Bronson. Which was that? Which one? Vera Cruz. Ah, Vera Cruz. Those Lancaster, a... Gary Cooper, Charles Bronson. Ernest Bognan, Charles Bronson. Going Brumson. too fast. I'm Gary too fast. Gary Cooper. I get too excited. We don't we have time. Gary Can I talk? Cooper. Burt Lancaster. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. Ernest Bognan. Ernest. That was a great movie. Fantastic. Where was that filmed? In Mexico City. It was in Mexico City. I was had it? a beautiful apartment. Uh -huh. I sang in a Reforma Hotel. The nightclub. Mm -hmm. I was famous. They loved me in Mexico. I love Mexico City. Oh, Cuernavaca, oh, Acapulco. I mean, Denise Fantastic. Darcel, yes. getting back, I yes. saw you uh, work in New York, all these wonderful cabarets you oh, did. Yeah. Wonderful the cabarets. Walter Pastoria, it, you you, you the worked Pierre all Hotel, these. You the did a French act, a singing French act. Half and half, not all in French, but I still have my nightclub act. Better. You still do it? Well, I got more experience. Uh -huh. and I develop a better voice. I don't know why. By vocalizing, by working, by singing. I, have a, I do Maurice Chevalier with, a, you know, uh, oui. every little breeze. Uh -huh. Seems to whisper, uh, Louise. It's always Louise. Why couldn't he whisper, Denise? <laughs> I do the whole show for you. I do love it. Yeah, no, that's okay, darling. I do Piaf. I do Madame Détriche with the legs in German. Did you ever meet Edith Piaf when yes. you were in Paris? Oh. Tell me. I met her Wait. in Paris, but I met her in New York. When she used she... to cook, 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 cook. Yes, tell me about it. Thousand pieces of garlic, like I do, but more than I. Would you come to her apartment? Garlic. Why garlic? Because garlic is so good for French you. I know. Garlic is the best you can have for yourself. Uh -huh. Clean up your bloodstream and just uh -huh. give you energy. Mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I cook with fresh garlic myself, but she the stung the garlic. But when she sang, I cry. I cry and sob when she sang. Uh -huh. She brought me back to Paris. I saw her last in performance in Paris she at was the Bombino Theater with her Greek husband she was married to, that young Greek guy. I forgot his name. I can't, is Saparko or something like that. I forgot his name. And he, he took gorgeous. a shirt off. He had a shirt off, and she was singing and touching his body. And she was, and she was tiny. She was very tiny. She, she had uh, arthritis in her hands and all crippled. She was the greatest. She was the she greatest. She reminded me of Julie Garland, the same French Julie Garland, a great. When she died in Paris, Paris stopped. Oh, yeah. She was Do a remember? one. I've never heard of her. Like, yeah? Unbelievable great. Uh -huh. I love her. Mm -hmm. And she made me cry. She reminded me of my little my Paris. What my has Paris. what has Denise de Russell been doing all these years? I mean Well, I, I want to show you I have a son, two sons. Ah, you have two sons. 25, 28. Uh-huh. And a grand baby four year old. And I didn't know that I was an insane mother. Paranoid mother. Uh -huh. I'm a great mother. Uh, yeah. People you had say, Denise Darcel, I was always a little crazy, oui, you know, oui. from where Denise Darcel, a mother? Well, uh -huh. when I had my baby, uh -huh. 
to dog, goodbye dog, Stiller, goodbye yeah. cat. So this is one of your sons, Greg. Yes. He's a young actor, Greg yes. uh, Darcel. Greg Darcel. He's How are you, Craig? Well, I'm fine. Are you fine. Uh, you're following your mother's footsteps? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> uh -huh. What are you doing now? You're studying here in Hollywood. Are you mm -hmm. studying acting mm -hmm. with at the West Coast you? Theater? Uh -huh. West Coast Ensemble Theater. I'm taking dialects training there with Ben Diabre. And, and you speak French too? Um, to be, yeah. I'm uh, too I do the dialect. No, I speak French to visit my mother, but I don't have to say anything but that. Uh -huh. <laughs> he says he's a he comic. He is a comic. He's great. Is he? I'm telling you. Uh huh. I'm very critical because if my son was uh -huh. bleh, I would say, darling, right. I love you very much, but maybe we can get other jobs. Uh -huh. <laughs> actor. Right, right. Funny. Well, I saw him first. He was on a stage of the one I always rave about. A barefoot in the Park. Oh. Barefoot in the Park. Well, I want to see him. This was high. I, have, I didn't see him for a while uh -huh. on the stage. I thought he was funny, you know, in, in my right. nightclub. He used mm -hmm. to steal my show. Uh -huh. used to do so you used to bring him out? Yeah, do, yeah. do John Wayne for me. That's how I started it. Do uh -huh. John Wayne for me. He was that small. Like that, uh, he stole my show. Jo do John Wayne I don't for do John Wayne. <laughs> well, that's when, he was, that's when he was seven or eight He was ago. that small. Yeah, he used to go small. When, I, when I started, yeah, when I, I remember the first impression I ever did was John Wayne. I was like, well, let me tell you something, you pilgrim. <laughs> you worked with John, didn't you? Did you work with John Wayne? I was John. No, no, but I Never? met him. I met him a few times. He held my hand. And he was so handsome, and uh -huh. he said, Jesus Christ, excuse me, uh -huh. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. He's how he yeah. talks, you know. Yeah. If I wasn't married to my beautiful wife, I'd kidnap you. I said, kidnap me anyway. But he did. <laughs> Craig, what's your favorite movie of your mother's? You have a favorite of Probably your mother's? Veracruz. Veracruz? Veracruz. Why? Just because it was such a fast-paced Western. It was just, you know. Great She star. was very vivacious. She, and, yes. And um, Burt Lancaster and Gary Cooper, it was just a great. Oh, Working great with dogs. Gary Cooper, <gasps> my favorite actor oh, of yeah. all. You Denise, so slowly, I want to hear this. But of course, He's I can be very slow too. No, Denise, I have to. Gary Cooper, yeah. tell we me. We used to have lunch, dinner, you ordered the wine in French. Uh -huh. He was a seminar movie than he was. He was a gentleman of the world. He was? Oh, yes. Bert Lancaster was more tough, you know, uh -huh. like. But my, uh, Gary Cooper was so elegant, uh -huh. the wine. He had those beautiful blue eyes. And we used to go in a, in a Cadillac, uh -huh. a chauffeur. Uh -huh. And low downtown, you know, for the oui. thing. And he used to put his beautiful face on my knees. Oh. And I used to massage his forehead. Well, is it that special? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you know what? He massaged my face too. The great <laughs> sex symbol. Uh -huh. We're in a car, he style, I massage, he fell asleep on my knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wonderful. Robert Taylor. Robert Taylor. I used to massage his neck on the scrub. Because we were tired, we pushed the wagons all day. You know. Forward women, women. Uh, Westwood, Westwood women. Westwood. Last great. Weekend. Was it a because great movie? Oh, yes, I was great. Glad Who were some of the women in that film? Denise Darcel. Hope Emerson. Hope Emerson. Um, it was a great movie. Marie Skin. Uh huh. So and great. there was a lot of wonderful. Uh, Julie Shoup. Uh huh. Julie Shoup. It's a strong movie of women. Yeah, I used to massage his neck. He used to fall asleep. Uh huh. I said, "What's wrong with me? I got those gorgeous men. I can write a book." I can tell them I massaged their neck and they fell asleep. <laughs> Not even in bed, in a chair. Uh -huh. So I'm a great sex symbol, but I'll, I'm very romantic. And I have to have a great romance. And I have to wait and I have to. Doesn't it be a movie actor? Mm -hmm. Nice man. Denise Dursel. Yes, my darling. I wanted to. Yes. You got away from Hollywood. You went to, you're a very spiritual lady. You got into commune. Tell me I about. I know it's not me. Wasn't that? Corinne Calvin. Corinne? Corinne oh, Calvin. Was that? We made, no, we no, did, no, oh, no, was, no, I swear. Was it? It was, was in a commune. It's good. Not, okay. I don't mind through that. There's only two of us left. The same name, D. But Darcel. Is, okay, Denise she Darcel. In New York. She was in a You're commune. spiritual? Is oh, yeah, I go to church and I pray a lot. Definitely. You meditate? Do you? Oh, oh, meditation is everything. I go in the morning, I get up by my pool. Uh -huh. I have my roses. I have my coffee. Mm. And I, I stay there for a couple of hours, my girlfriend said. What do you do sitting down there looking at the roses in the blue sky? Because I love it. I hear the birds singing. You're living in blue sky. You're yes. living in Vegas. Yes, but it's very nice, Vegas. Beautiful. It could, it yes. could be country just as well, you know what I mean? Right. Uh huh. So uh, you're here. and you're and you're living here? I'm living here. You're living here? What, uh, what you're working here and you're studying well, acting? I'm studying you, acting. I've been um, semi recurring at General Hospital. Uh huh. Yeah. It's been fun. Are you enjoying that? Oh, I love it. I love it. The cast, everybody is so wonderful. Uh -huh. And um I'm doing all the regular deliveries on the show, so it's kind of neat. I deliver, every, I deliver everything, tuxedos, uh -huh. um, flowers, 
everything. Do you sing? Like... Do you sing, Craig? Like your mother? Well, I do a little Elvis Presley. It's oh, real. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I'll sing a little bit of Elvis. You play guitar, is that? My, my legs start moving. Yeah. I can't stop it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is funny. He is very funny, oh, Denise. Oh, I see what you mean. She's really, I've got everything from her. She is so funny, really. Uh -huh. I could tell you some stories. There was one time I came home and, and I walked into the house and she says, The ostriches are loose. The ostriches are loose. Yes. I said, what, where? I'm looking for big yellow birds in my house. Uh -huh. Turned on the TV and the hostages were just released from oh, Iran. Oh, the hostages. That was a few years ago. <laughs> Very funny. You know, you know, oh, you know he's a French mother, you know. You still speak with that accent. You've been in this country so many years, Denise Darcy. But, 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 but you don't. But you don't. You don't. You don't. The Charles Williams' accent. There's a Gabor. No, it's wonderful. Well, not, it's Gabor. Not, no. My darling. What do you think of Zsa Zsa Gabor, Denise Darcel? Very, the way she's, she's carried. She's very funny. She's funny? Oh. She's a great comedian. Is she? Oh, she's funny. She's a, she's a witty woman. Ad lib. She's uh -huh. funny. Mm -hmm. A little crazy. So am I. I see. We're going to show you to be a little crazy. Not all of us. What was your favorite man, leading man, you worked with? Because you worked with so many great men and movies. Glenn Ford. Glenn I stood Ford? him up. I stood him up. I stood up Glenn Ford. You did? What, tell me about that. Well, that's after the movie was over, I was in a movie with him. What movie was Young it? Young Man with Ideas. Young Man with Ideas. I sang, and I was a witness for the prosecution. Uh -huh. And he was after me flirting, and he was kissing. They always kiss me, you know. I get kissed, which I love this. You love to be kissed yeah, in but film? I get slapped always. I get slapped every time. I get slapped, <laughs> kissed, and they kill me. Did Charles Bronson <laughs> slap you? Sla I'd slap never me, do that to you. Me. I thought oh, you were sexy. <laughs> tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Thank you. Very funny. Yes. <laughs> tell I me about her. Glenn Ford now, getting back. Oh, just, what, a, just, just a date with him for lunch, and I didn't show up. Where, at Frascati's? I was, I was very young, and I was worried. How do you know it's Frascati? I knew because I saw you at Frascati's all every afternoon there on Sunset on the Strip. Not I in the one Clint in Beverly Eastwood Hills. There. I met Clint Eastwood there once. Clint Way Eastwood? Back. Yeah, I thought he would be a big star. He became a big star. Was he handsome? Was he nice? He's still handsome. Thank you. Oh, yes, darling. Did you walk up to him or did he? No, he walked up to me. And he yes. said hello. I was, I was with my friends. Uh -huh. Oh, it was way back, yeah? Uh huh. It was way back. And um, it was very nice, Clint Eastwood. And. Um, Denise, coming coming back to my Craig there, that yes. show he made, when I saw him on that Barefoot in the Park. Right. This was, was a high so school. Mm -hmm. He was so funny, I said, my God. What about the play at the West Coast Theater? When I played the Cockney, Hello, Love, Bells oh. of St. Mary and me out. Remember? When I played you Joey, were. the Cockney? I'm your best fan, my that was It was comedy. I was like a, kind of played like a, a bum, a Cockney bum. And I came in and I said, have you got a fag? Uh -huh. <laughs> you like to do comedy, uh, Craig? I, I, comedy is, is it, my favorite. Is know, it? Because I, I think you're born with a timing. Just uh -huh. like, you know, oh, and then you get that. I, I was born with it. You know, do you think you got your mother's... Uh, I think so. I think so. Her energy. Yeah. Um, you know, I, the only thing I don't have is the accent, but I can fix that. He's never yes, tired. Yes, 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 yes. I was never tired before, but I had him. And you wore me out. You know, I was in, when I was young, I was yes. in such awe of her, you know, because uh -huh. she was, she'd tell me the stories about Clint Eastwood and all these huge people in the business, and, right. and I was just in awe, you know, because yeah. I do the impressions. I'm uh -huh. like, he's got a baby, you know? four-year-old, who's more energy than both oh, of us really? together. Oh, so he you're a grandmother. Oh, How wonderful. Oh, what makes Denise Starcell such great energy, keeps yourself Let me tell moving. you, people you... ask me all the time, yeah. and I don't take anything. As a matter of fact, I think that I breathe deeply. I always breathe. People forget to breathe. They don't know how to breathe. No, you have to yeah. breathe. <sighs> Keep mm -hmm. it in and mm -hmm. shh. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relax. Right. But I don't take aspirin, sleeping pill, Spray diet pill. Nothing. Ever I take a pill. Never. Never. If I have a headache, I massage my neck, I breathe, I go like this, it goes away. Uh -huh. I had arthritis. I was paralyzed. Were you really? Oh my God, for, That's right. I was paralyzed How like this because somebody massaged me, cracked me the wrong way. Uh -huh. <laughs> and after that, I died. And you know what? I cured it myself. First, I took some Feldin because yes. I was in agonies of pain. I could not move. I did two shows. I was in the Four Queens. Uh -huh. Afternoon, I was in Tonapa on the weekend, and I was crippled. Mm -hmm. Then I took a one pill. I felt better. Then I quit the pills. Nothing. I never take anything. Is it, that's why I have so much Forget pep. about my neck right. massages. Right. What were those? Chopped liver? Every day, every day, once a year. <laughs> <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> Denise Darcel, yes, has Hollywood, uh, looking back over your career in Hollywood, looking over Hollywood, you were just at Hollywood Roosevelt, I saw you there, the, an, an opening, looking down Hollywood Boulevard, it's changed a lot for I, you. I, 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 I mean, this I is, you, came here, you came here 
in the early 50s, or was it 50s? Early 50s. Uh, early 50s. 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 Yes. It was great. It was great. Hollywood was truly Hollywood. I was here. I used to go and dress up at night with the, the dress and... Macambos, you know, Cerros, oh, La Trocadero. Yeah, what is it? I'm looking for it. What are some of the favorite places you liked when you were in Hollywood? What I found that Chasen, Ciro's, Mocambo, uh, remember Steve Crane? Mm -hmm. What was it, Lulua? Of course, oh, Lana Turner's I used, oh, Lana Turner. his husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell, well, me, tell me about those people going out every night. They didn't go out every night. Like, no, you can't. Because you have to get up at 5 in the morning. At, uh, you go to bed at 9 or 10 o'clock. Right. And with me, with my English, when I work, I have to be very rested, so I speak s slowly. Yes. And you can't uh, go on uh, in a movie. Say, what did you say? So, you know, I slow down when I work. Yes. Did you I have, have to. at MGM Studios, when you were there under yeah. contract, go to school? They put you at. Learn to fence, learn to horseback riding, Stop. Learn to they shoot the gun. They teach you every little thing. Fantastic. Right? They the only thing they did to put me in my, the glamorous part, I never had a part. In my nightclub, I had. The sequin dress like Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn oui. Dietrich. I had the blonde, the fur, the diamonds, the sled with my legs. People tell me, Do you have legs? I said, I hope yes. so. I was unlucky <laughs> enough. I have no, they, so, they say, You have legs. That was right. a silly thing to say. Yeah. Because I never show my legs. Always my decollete. Always my decollete. Because I was a little plump. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Wonderful. I don't complain. That made me famous a little bit. Poor, poor, poor. But they never put me in a nightclub with a glamorous. Gowns. I was a countess up with a big skirt. I remember, yes. Cowgirl pushing the wagon. Why do you like think mud. so, Denise Darcel? Why do you think they did that? In Hollywood? Because I don't know why. I, maybe I had the wrong management. I had the wrong everything. I had the wrong manager, the wrong, you know, a lot of, because I could have been, I, I sing, I have a beautiful nightclub. You're a wonderful act. I never had a nightclub that seen, really, in a movie. Uh huh. Never. That's what I'm sorry. Everybody said, why in the world aren't you in a movie singing, dancing with the legs at the pop of, uh -huh. you know? No. It's time to make one. <laughs> well, it's never too late. How about, how, about, how about your son and you together doing a, a club act? We done it. Well, huh? I have you put him done? Well, when he was a little baby, I put but him now, in my stage. What would you think about doing I'd, it? I'd love to do it. Think I'd love to do it, it because it, I have such great material. You know, I mean, I have pages uh -huh. of material. It's right. just so cute. You know, just, uh -huh. just the, the French, you know, actress, entertainer uh -huh. raising, you know, uh -huh. a young um, boy in America, you right, know, right. And, as a youth, and it's, uh -huh. just, it's so much Where fun. Where did you go to school here in, in I went. California, I went or? to um, school in Las Vegas. Vegas. So you grew up actually in Vegas a right, lot. Right, right. That's great there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. really exciting. Yes, yes. Very exciting. Yeah. Yes. Did you, when place? you're living in Vegas, you don't go to clubs, though. No, no very, do you? very, you're very home. Sometimes stay. I stay home two weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. I cut my roses, I watch TV, I, I do wonderful. things around the house, I cook dinner, we have friends coming over, uh -huh. we dine outside in the beautiful moonlight, the pool. I say, I get in shape. Uh -huh. I'm going back to get in shape. I'm going back to show darling, business. You are my so really marvelous, darling. I love you. Skippy, I love you, darling. Crazy go nuts. Always wanted to say that sitting here, darling. I love you. He does good dialects. Oh, do, 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 do. do. The little young man with exercise was so funny. Richard Simmons, let's go, work uh, it. Richard. You're gonna be fat, disgusting. Come on. <laughs> you call those jeans? What are they? Eat to fit? Let's go. <laughs> Richard Simmons of Hollywood, yeah. He's funny. Denise, tell me more about the terror, uh, the theater in uh, Long oh, Beach. Uh, it was great fun, uh, Denise. You had yeah, a great you time. Know, you know who's got me the Krauss. You know Marvin Page. Marvin Page. He put. He, he called me to go there. I go there. I flew the same day, and I had it. He's Marvin. a wonderful friend. He's a Marvin is a wonderful man. He helps everybody he's in this town. He's, he's no longer star. with General Hospital, General Hospital is no. he? No, he's got, oh, he's, he, he, he had to do other things, bigger things. I mean, bigger. He, was, he was big, but yeah. diff different. He was there a long time, too. Yeah. He's yeah. probably, you know. He's got the most unbelievable it? archives uh -huh. of uh, old movies, old uh -huh. pictures of MGM. He's got thousands and thousands of pictures. Uh -huh. You can't ever see all these archives. He's a fantastic man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the Follies. The, the, yes, getting back with the Follies with Dorothy L'Amour and Eumis Sumac. One of the and nicest theater I played Broadway, you uh -huh. know, with Tony Randall, O Capitaine. You were no Captain. Oh, I saw that. Susan Johnson it was great. And Dorothy it was a Lamour. Great, great show. Great. You were wonderful Feminine in that. Feminine Tifa. Uh, Would you like to go back to Broadway, Denise? Oh, I love it. It's my thing. I want to go. Yeah. You have back, no time? Looking back Am I over, talking too much? Looking back over your life. Yes. Just, just looking back over your life, Denise. Yes. Yeah, sit back. Do you have any regrets? No. Do you? No. Huh? No, I have no regrets. Would you do it? A, what would you do? How would you make it different? Well, I would like to be a little bit, work a little harder to keep my career instead of staying home, cooking and taking care of my boys. 
Is that what you have done? Yeah? Oh, I've, like no, I've stayed. No, I've yes. stayed a lot. I yes. stayed home a lot because no, I would never regret that. Uh -huh. I would never regret that. But I could have been a more pushy after they were raised. After they were twenty. Yes. So I wouldn't. I can't leave two teenagers. Yes. Tough. So you were really a I, mother. I you were a really a mother. Oh yes. I forgot. I left you mean after they turned twenty. I'm, yeah. I'm twenty now. Twenty-five. So Denise Darcel, <laughs> the sexy bombshell from Paris. Yes. They are, that's the image on the screen. I'm a really cook. is a, a real mother. What did that, a you're real the mother. I can't, mother. I can't, I can't she was a good mother. mother. Very. Talk best. about me. The best. My understanding, uh -huh. warm, would do anything for us. Oh, and, yeah. you know, it's... They you know, are my life. You know, r practically raised us without a father, because my uh -huh. father died, at, you know, I was a young And you young took boy. care of them all your life. I that's wonderful, everything. Denise. I had to quit. Uh, I, did, I was working, but I could not travel too much anymore. Right. I turned down marvelous jobs. I could stay home with a baby. <laughs> with the children. Take care of my baby. I'm still the baby. See. Oh, of course. The baby. Uh -huh. My baby. Gorgeous. So, Denise Darcel has no really regrets, then. You don't have regrets. No, because really. uh, I did what I wanted to do. You had a good do. time. You have had a good time, haven't you? You know, I didn't marry anybody I didn't like. Some women live with men they hate all their lives. They make love. They have to drink a bottle of vodka to, uh -huh. to make love. They hate their husband. They hate their... They, I've never... I was with somebody I love, uh -huh. or I was alone. And I waited for the right one to come along. It came along. And I, I see that's why I'm a... So, f joie de vivre because I love life, but I never did something mm -hmm. I didn't want to do. I was free of spirit. It's harder if you have a boyfriend to keep you, uh -huh. you know, and pay for your rent and everything and take care of put your, uh, your children to college, mm -hmm. like a lot of women I know do. Mm -hmm. They married rich men. Then I regret yeah. that maybe that I should have been a little more unselfish and marry somebody very influential. Sure. When I wasn't working, so I can put them to better college. But that's the only thing I regret. I regret that. And you could have, because every oh. man was at your footsteps at that time. I turned down so many and fantastic men. I even love them. Like Why? Why? But Why? Craig, well, Craig. Craig. I'm no. just kidding. I'm you had a good life, Craig. I had a great okay. life. And may I say something? A lot of love. A lot of love. In I fact, like that. it makes I like if, that. if I re reach the success that I want to, it makes reaching that success that more sweeter. Having you know. Uh huh. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but not just, had. Yeah. You know. Yachts and you know the private plane and the maids and everything yeah. that you know. I married a man and he didn't like the children. We li he liked the like my other one. He didn't like him, and he said, "Mother, I hate him." Well, I that said, "I would never want to have somebody, mm -hmm. my son, live with a man mm -hmm. who, who can't stand it. It's not fair because my father, and my mother, yes, all my life <coughs> yes. like this, yes. and I left him and I had a house, everything. You know? Were he you the like only child, Denise, or were you oh. had other children uh, uh, from your family? How many sisters? Five. five. You had five. Four sisters. Five sisters and one brother, ah. seven children. My mother was seven. wonderful. Are you the only one in show business who got in show business? My sister passed away three years ago. She was a great singer. She was. And I love her so much. She took care of the, my children ah. a lot. She was always there when I needed her, too. Did you ever see Lena Renault in, in, Par uh, in uh, uh, Vegas, Vegas when she was yeah, working? I for quite a Lena while. Yes, I used to see her at the Casino de Paris. And ah, I just loved great. her. I thought she was. You always remind me of her a little. Well, we well, know we're French and we have the accent and we have. Lina? Lina Limbrinald. She's, she's, one, she's wonderful. She's, Did you yes. ever see her when no, you were Craig? No. no. What does Craig Darcel aiming for? Just Not just an actor, but what What do you, what do you like to do? Well, I, I, not just an actor. I'd like to be a good father, you know, because I have my son just part-time. Uh -huh. I have, you know, it's joint custody, but I, only, I don't have, you know, the time I'd like to spend with him that I would like. So you keep yourself busy then, with, along with oh, acting right. and working? And, and working yes, and, not, that's you know, great. those He's things. Wonderful. But uh -huh. I'd like to, you know, right now my mom uh -huh. is on the upswing with this, this show, this, this fabulous new show. show. What is this? I'd like What's to help her if I could, in any way that I could, you know. I, you know, be your gopher. I'll run around, <laughs> run your errands, do whatever you need. What's happening with this show, Disney? Uh, what's well, gonna, if the only thing is, is that so Polly. many stars in it. Yes. It's too big to go on the road. And yes. Some, maybe a huge theater here or there. Right. It's such a beautiful show, such a fantastic dancer, great singers. It is such a shame, but mm -hmm. they can't afford. Nobody can afford a show like this. Why did they put so many stars in the show? Because like Julia Prowse and uh, Denise Darcel, Yuma Sumac, Dorothy Lamour, Shane Karen Wallace. Moore, Wallace. I mean, there they are so many. How come so many? They spend a fortune. Did Everybody they really? have beautiful hotel suite. Tell Moses. me about opening night. I oh. must know. Opening night. Good Reynolds. Good, good turnout. It's been Hollywood turnout. It was so down Ronald for Reagan two weeks. Ronald Reagan came. Yes, wasn't he? Uh -huh. Wasn't I? Go ahead. I should say. Show off. Steal my show again. I'm okay. sorry, <laughs> but I always loved you, and we never did a movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you ever meet Ronald Reagan, uh, Denise? Trussell? I used to have lunch with him. I called him Ronnie. 
And uh -huh. I never knew that I would uh -huh. know the president of America. I only know. Uh -huh.